So I'm uh, Bastian Engelschalk. Um, I'm from the brewery Blechbrot, and we have also a different brand. It's called Atelier Vrai. So we were founded as two different breweries. Um, we merged together in March 2020. It was actually because both of us we were approaching in the same way. So we thought like it would be nice to work together. So in March 2020, we merged together and now we are pushing both brands in, in whole Europe and in Germany. Uh, yeah, that is how we started and uh, we are actually known for our New England IPAs. And, and now we are getting a foot into more different markets like we started with our uh, Smoothie Sour brand. Uh, we are doing barrel aged beers and more and more lagers. So uh, yeah, that is what we are doing now. Where are you based? We're based in Bamberg, actually. So this is more or less the Lagerbier capital in Germany. And then we are there we're doing all this modern shit. Nobody really understands when they are located there. So uh, we don't really have a regional market because the people are coming to Bamberg for all the Lagerbiers. But the interesting thing is that all the traditional brewers really like what we are doing, so they are fans of us. So it's kind of a strange market regionally, but yeah, it's for us, the market is more the whole Germany and Europe. Um, and when you're in Bamberg, it's like you need to know where we are, otherwise you couldn't find our beer. But I mean, now, so we will be there at some time. I remember when uh, Stone tried to conquer Berlin and he gave up on the Germans because he said, they're stuck in their cheap lager beers. Are yeah. you having difficulty like that? I mean, I, I really followed his way and I think it was quite cocky to do that. So you need to appreciate the, the tradition of Germany to understand the market actually. So when you're located in Germany or when you want to try to be in Germany, you need to add to that and not change the German behavior. And that is, I, I think this is the, the part about Germany you need to understand when it's about the market. You won't change this traditional, like, cheap beer drinkers. You need to add to that. And I think that is what we try to do. So we don't, we are not in Bamberg and saying like, this is a beer you need to drink. We say like, we are totally fine with all the traditional beers, but maybe if you want to try something else, there we are. Uh, I mean, my colleague, Benedict, he started brewing at Mönchsambacher. It's probably one of the most hyped breweries in Germany, but it's a traditional one, only doing lager beers. And I mean, we love, we love that stuff. Uh, we, we are people of both extremes. We like the very traditional stuff when it's good, good made. And we like all the fancy stuff. So why not combine it? And that is what we try to do, actually. Like being, being modern in a very traditional place. How much do you produce a year and where do you plan to go from here in terms of... Uh, at the moment we are around 1,500 hectoliters a year. Uh, we are just two and a half guys, I always say, because it's two guys doing it at main time and one guy doing it at half time. Uh, but yeah, there are a lot of projects. Uh, I think the good thing about us is that we will never get rid of any ideas. So there's a lot to do, but yeah, it's, we are short of time because we're just two and a half guys. So we need to like plan our projects. And at the moment, we really try to push our barrel aging program. We have 140 barrels, which is quite a lot for the European market. Um, nobody heard about it before because we tried to hide it a little bit. So this is uh, something we try to push on the market at the end of the year. And, and I think, yeah, what I said, we, we want to try to have a modern stand in the, in the very traditional base of Bamberg. And yeah, there will, be, there will be a tap room. We try to have our own space for brewing. So at the moment we have our own canning line, but not our own brewing space. So this is, this is like one step every time. I mean, we started in March 2020, so we are really new to the market. And I think we achieved quite a lot that we are on a, on a festival like that where so many really good known brands are. So I think we, we are still quite small, but 
we're, we're getting to that point to, to the, 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 the people that know us and asking for us, actually. So, yeah. Well, onward and upward, and pleased to meet you. Thanks for yeah, the interest. Thank you very much. Thank you for being featured with you. Thanks. Excellent. <laughs> Good to meet you.